earthworms. Well, no, no, what was that again? Now, the, this is a composting worm. It's not an earthworm. Correct. Oh, if, you yeah. just, if you were just to put this in the earth, it would only survive a short time because unless it's very uh, uh, aerated, a lot and... of organic material. Yeah. Once the organic material, it would die off. Uh -huh. Now, if you took an earthworm and put it into a compost bin, you wouldn't get the production that you would. Uh, okay. It's a composting worm. This one here will get up to about 10 inches long. They, these are very uh, temperature sensitive. All right. They like to uh, um, everything about 60 degrees up into the 90s. Um, we have other worms. We've got uh, European night crawlers, red worms, uh, Alabama jumpers, Canadian night crawlers. Jumpers? Jumpers. And they will jump out of your hand. Really? Yes. Wow. It's, all it's you like do. the, the, uh, the flying snake yeah. or <laughs> snake. The invisible flying snake. The invisible flying snake and the and the chupacabra coon. Ah, the chupacabra. Yes. Coon. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And of course, I'm, I bet you, you now, they're you know equally as good for fishing. Oh, oh, this everything. is an actually great fishing worm because it likes the heat, so you can put it on the fishing bank and not, a, you know, Canadian night crawlers, they deteriorate as soon as it gets any kind of heat. Oh, yeah. These will last all day and you can carry them. They're great. Nice. Now, you know, there's no such thing as a female or a male worm. Well, any two worms rubbing up against each right. other of the same species, of course, um, will produce. Each worm will lay two eggs per week. Which is a cocoon. Don't they have like five hearts and stuff like that too? Something crazy like that? You can cut part of it in half and it'll regrow? Not this one. No. no Only worms. earthworms? No. Earthworms, if you cut this earthworm in half, one side may survive, the head side, the body side's dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's kind of a, 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 a it's kind of fiction. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, but uh, they lay two, approximately two cocoons a week, which is their eggs, and each egg, depending on the species of worms, will have one to four worms come out of it. Mm -hmm. Huh? Want to, want to taste? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll tell you what I do have. I have garlic. Wait, wait. Oh. And the spirit of the rainbow worm. Oh, oh yay. nice. Oh, yay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Right. Thanks, man. All right, so here we are, rainbow worms, not affiliated with the candy. And uh, given that they're androgynous, I guess it's kind of good for the Bay Area. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, you know, there's only one uh, one worm that's uh, actually native to the North American continent. Yeah? Uh, the, and that worm was just found in Utah back in October for the first time in 30 years. Oh really? So most of these were introduced? They're, 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 they're exotic species? Yes. Alright, so uh, what is the uh, discipline of study of worms? What is, what, what's the... Firmic firmiculture. Permaculture, so permacology. Permacology. Nice, all right. We are now enlightened. We're entertained and informed. You got it. All right, thanks, man. You're Careful, okay, better wear gloves feeding those things. <laughs>